guys welcome to my channel i'm jordine if you're new here today's video is going to be a demo and review on the new natasha denona bronze collection so if you're interested in my thoughts then keep on watching the first thing we're going to be starting off with is the face palette so this is the unicarton it has that bronze copper packaging um, and it's called the bronze cheek face glow palette so this is what the outer packaging looks like it's very reminiscent of all the cheek palettes that natasha denona has and this is the color story i don't want to blind you with the mirror but yeah this is the color story so this face palette has a new formula which is called the bounce cream glow and the bounce cream blush i don't know who this is gonna be a blush on right here but sis that is not a blush that's not a blush natasha it's cute though but it's not a blush um and then you have your super glow and you your super glow bronze and your super glow nude i like the super glow formula let me see so i have my other two natasha denona cheek palettes with me this one is the bloom this is my favorite oh my god it's amazing i love bloom it looks very gross i'm so sorry but i use it all the time so this is what bloom looks like and bloom which formula does bloom have bloom has the glow cream base and a cream blush then it has the glow extreme and the dual glow okay so maybe I like the duo glow. Yeah, I don't like the super glow. I like the duo glow and the glow impact powder. So we'll see how this goes because this is the love palette. So that's what the love palette looks like. And I like this one too, but this color right here is the super glow and that one is a little bit too intense for me, you know, on an everyday basis. But I really like this one right here, the formula of that one because it gives more of a shine. So we'll see. So let's go ahead and apply this. So these are all gonna be highlighters on me. Nothing is gonna bronze me, nothing is going to give me a blush. And that's fine, <laughs> but let's test out the formula. This is the Bounce Cream Glow. Ooh, it has like a pink shift to it. So Bounce Cream Glow, it has a pink iridescence to it. And then this is the, oh my God, I just dig my fingernail into the palette. Great. And this is the Bounce Cream Blush. So that's what it looks like. Yeah, those are not blushes. Highlights, but not a blush. The next thing is the Super Glow Bronze. So that's Super Glow Bronze, the third one. This one looks a little bit better, whereas Super Glow from the Love Palette looks a little bit more glittery. Yeah, Super Glow from the Love Palette is a little bit more glittery as opposed to this one, it's a little bit more smooth. And then the next thing is the Super Glow Nude. All right, so Super Glow Nude at the bottom right here, and then bronze. I think all of these would work on my complexion as a highlight, just different tones of highlight. Um, I actually really like that one right there. It's more cool tone, but I think that would look really pretty. So I'm gonna start off with the cream. So I'm a little concerned since it's cream, so I'm gonna probably use more of a synthetic brush and see if it will pick it up. But I'm gonna go in with the brown cream glow on this side right here. And it's that pink iridescent one right here. I don't feel like it's picking anything up. Okay, I can see it. Hmm. Okay, it's pretty, but I don't know if I'm supposed to use it with a, a brush. Let me try my finger. It has that putty-like texture to it. So let's see, finger. Okay, you get a little bit more payoff with the finger. I don't have a clean sponge right now, sorry. Um, so I can't try with the sponge right now. I just moved, FYI, so like all my stuff is like packed up. <laughs> I just have my filming stuff out. And my sponge isn't clean. Okay, that's pretty. I don't know if I can really see the pink shift on my complexion. Right now in the slide in, I can't see it. So we'll see what it looks like in natural sunlight and I'll let you guys know in the comments down below. All right, so next we're gonna go in with the Bounce Cream Blush, which is that more cool tone color over here. Why do they call that a blush? It picked it up, that color. 
Yeah, same concept. I feel like the brush is giving more of a sheer application, whereas my finger is going to give me a little bit more intensity. Yeah. Okay, there we go. I like that color. I feel like this one, it's pretty, but I feel like it's a little bit more... I mean, it's pretty. It's pretty, but I like this one better. <laughs> Alright, so next we're going to go in with the powders. I'm going to try the Super Glow Bronze on my forehead. I'm using this brush. It's my Wayne Goss Artist Medium Brush. Ooh, picks up a lot. And let's just... Oh, there's too much, Jordan. What are you doing, ma'am? Let's blend that out. <laughs> oh, that's pretty. I feel like it blends very nicely. Could be the brush. <laughs> but it blended out really nicely, and it's not glittery like um, the Super Glow from the Love Palette. So that's good. So that's why I look, ooh, it looks really pretty on my forehead. You know I like looking radiant, so this is good. All right, next let's do the Super Glow Nude on the chin. Ooh, that's pretty. All right, so if you hear any background noise, I have my AC on because it got really hot. So yeah, <laughs> that's the sound that you might hear in the video. So what I'm gonna do is just apply a mixture of both the Super Glow Bronze and Super Glow Nude on my cheeks just so everything can balance. Not too much. And I like to put some like right on my cheekbones just to give me a overall glow. Okay, so this is what the bronze glow cheek palette is looking like on my complexion. It's a highlighter palette, <laughs> but it's beautiful. It's really pretty. If you want to try out Natasha's formula, I feel like this is a good way to try out multiple formulas um, just to see which kind of glow you like you have more intense glow or you have a more subtle you know sheen which I like I think it's pretty so we're moving on to eyes so this is the unit carton of the Natasha Denona bronze eyeshadow palette and this is what the palette looks like so it's that mirrored packaging you can see my fingerprints um, it's that nice copper color and it is the size of your sunrise your love palette so this is more of a I wouldn't say mini, but smaller 15 pan palette compared to Natasha's 15 pan palettes. I hope that she's like continuing to do this because this is really good. Because you're not gonna go through like all that eyeshadow to be honest. But this is what the palette looks like. It's so pretty. I was watching Kelsey's video and she said basically it reminds her of a soft glam palette from Anastasia and I definitely agree with her like with this color story. It's giving me soft glam vibes. All right, so looking at the palette, I like the colors, but something that I can see straight off the gate is that there's not a lot of deeper like matte colors. They're they're pretty light, pretty light. You do have that ready warm. Is this brown? Ready warm brown, <laughs> but like where are the deeper rich browns? You know that's the only thing. Um, but let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna go ahead and start off with a refer number sixteen brush with the shade Suntan right there. This side is more of a warm brown. The good thing about this color as I'm putting it on is that it does come off a little bit deeper on the skin. So that's good. So I'm gonna blow this out into my crease. Next I'm going in with Magma. Magma is being concentrated right on the outer eye in a C shade, bringing it up into my crease. There we go. So it's giving a little bit more definition. So the blendability of those two mattes are pretty good so far. I'm just going back in with that rougher brush and blending out the edge of suntan. I did not add any extra product. Just, there we go, blending that out. All right, I want to try this cream to powder um, situation in deep dive right here is that darker color is that even black it's like a really rich 
really rich brown. I don't know, we'll see what it looks like on my skin tone. I'm using a refer number 12 brush. I'm going back in with suntan and just lightly buffing the edge of deep dive. For my lid, I'm gonna go in with the shade True Copper and I'm using a refer number two. That's pretty. I'm gonna flip the brush over and go in with the shade High Degree right there. And I'm popping that right in the center. Connecting True Copper with Deep Dive. Going back in with the shade Magma here and we're gonna blend in Deep Dive and High Degree. A bit of an inner corner highlight so the lightest color that i see that would work on me would be i guess silk it's still more of like a gold bronzy color though but we'll go in with silk using a refer number three and we're gonna apply that right in the inner corner so this is what this eye is looking like so far i do like the way that it looks but i'm gonna go ahead and just finish off the bottom lash line so i'm gonna go back in with deep dive all right so we rubbed it all on the bottom lash line and then we're gonna go in with suntan and blend it out go back in with silk on the bottom inner corner so I'm gonna do another look on this side. I'm gonna start off with the shade Magma this time around. Uh, into the crease. The shade I'm gonna go in with is Rhodium right here. It's like this purpley color. Confused as to why it's in the palette, I'm not gonna lie, but <laughs> yeah, let's put that on. So that's what rhodium looks like on the lid. It's pretty. I like it. All right, so let's go back in with a deep dive right here just to smoke everything out. So I applied some of deep dive right on the bottom lash line. And now I'm going to go in with this shade right here at the bottom called Bliss. It's supposed to be like a duochrome. Is that pinky green? What what kind of shift is this? Huh. Yeah, it has like a little bit of like I don't even know. <laughs> Greeny. Okay. So right here. I'm gonna place it right at the bottom too. Okay, so I have lashes and mascara on, and this is what my eyes are looking like. lip I have on a proper beauty finesse lipstick with Colourpop BFF4 lip liner and Wayne Goss Chrysanthemum lip gloss. I like both of the looks. I like how they look. Now I'm gonna do another look but I feel like all the other shimmer options that I have are gonna give me the same look as like this one over here. We'll see. We'll see what I do. All right, so we're gonna go on to our third look. I already have eyeshadow primer on. I wanna see what some of these lighter mattes look like. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna go in with this shade right here, Ridge. It's like a mustard. It's really pretty. Okay. It looks more like my skin tone though. So I'm gonna go in with suntan again with a smaller tapered brush. It's gonna go right in the crease. And up magma. I 
I'm gonna go back in with Ridge and blend the edges. All right, for my lid, I'm gonna go in with this shade here. It's called Showdown. Sundown, sorry, Sundown. That's pretty. It's like a peachy color. We're gonna go in with this lighter color here in the inner eye. This is called Beach. I'm gonna go in with a bit of deep dive right on the lash. This is the final look. So let's get down to my thoughts on the Natasha Denona bronze collection. So as for quality of both products, I feel like the quality is pretty good. Um, color story wise, I feel like on my skin tone, this bronze palette is more of a highlighting palette. So it's not really giving me any type of bronze, but the highlights are beautiful as you can see on my complexion. So if you were looking for a highlight and palette and you wanted to try out Natasha's formula, I think this would be a good option. I do feel like she dropped the ball on like creating a really nice, rich, terracotta bronze blush in this palette. I feel like that would have went really well with the overall story of, you know, a bronze cheek palette. You know, something like similar to this tone right here. She could have really hit it off with like a cream blush in that tone. It would have just looked really beautiful. So hopefully, you know, she works on that. Um, but I think that that is what that palette was missing. <laughs> As for the eyeshadow palette, the quality is really good. Um, on par with my Sunrise palette, which I love. I love the Sunrise palette. I have it right here. So this is my Sunrise palette. So this is the color story of the Sunrise palette. So definitely a little bit more bright as opposed to the bronze palette, which is more subtle, neutral, everyday type of thing. The quality of this palette is really good. The mattes blended very nicely, especially with my all matte look right here. I feel like they were very soft and buttery and just blended very, very well. I do like that cream to powder formula that's in here, especially for a deeper color. It just makes it easier to blend. Um, and the shimmers are more of that metallic. As for that like bliss color that's supposed to be like more of a duochrome, it's not like giving me like duo dual chrome like you know a pat mcgrath dual chrome or like an indie brand like really you can see that shift like obviously but it's pretty it's like a softer dual chrome it's not bad at all now i feel like these shimmers are very similar like especially looking at it you have true copper true bronze silk alloy like they look very similar to one another i feel like i would get the same look if i would use those on my lid um, and I'll attach um, swatches at the end of this video so you can see what I'm talking about. But if you want just an everyday palette, this is a good option. Definitely a good option. Like I mentioned in the beginning, I feel like she's missing like a richer brown. Um, that would work really well. But I like it. So if you were looking for it and you feel like you don't have colors like that in your um, collection or you're looking for an updated everyday palette, I think it would be a good option to pick up. Is it necessary for you to pick up if you're like a makeup collector and you have a whole bunch of stuff? No. I feel like you'll have those colors already. Um, and I mean, I'm going to use it. I'm probably going to use it a lot, to be honest, um, because it's going to be easy just to pick up and use. So for that option i'm happy that i did pick it up and i do like the face palette as well but i feel like girl you could have really came through with that blend those cream blush formulas that everybody loved in the bloom palette why are you not giving us more of that natasha we need more of that but yeah that's my thoughts on the bronze collection so it's not necessary but if you were to pick it up it's very good formula you won't be disappointed in the formula of the products so if you have not i would love for you to go ahead and like the video because it helps me out everything will be linked down in the description box down below if you're interested in trying this collection if you're new here hi i'm jordine go ahead and subscribe to my channel i would really appreciate it and i'll see you guys in the next video bye